So I was sitting with one of my best friends the other day and I was helping her with her business and her husband was in the room and <clears throat> this quote came out of her husband's mouth. Hobby time is over. It's time to get shit done. And he wasn't saying that in a, a condescending way or judgmental way, just a matter of fact way. You see, uh, my friend, she's been, she's had a lot of different businesses and she's amazing at what she does and she dabbles in a lot of them. She's now moving into the next evolution of her life and, and the business. It's becoming a business. It's not something that she wants to dabble in and just do a little bit here, a little bit there and kind of uh, fit in and around her life. Like this is a real business. She's ready to start speaking. She's writing a book. She wants to work with clients, teach workshops and retreats. And she wants this to be a consistent, steady business that supports her, her family. She has a newborn baby and her husband was right. Hobby time is over, people. And I want to share three things with you that can help you move from hobby time into it's time to get shit done. And there's three things I want to share. The first one uh, is what is your commitment? And this is a very serious question to ask yourself. On a scale of one to 10, what is your commitment to doing whatever it takes? One being, no, I'm fine with my job. 10 being, I'm in. No matter what, I'm in full out on a scale of one to 10. If you're not a 10, that's fine. It's, re it's better to be honest with yourself than to fool yourself because the journey ahead of starting your business is no joke. Now the rewards are amazing. Being an entrepreneur, there's so many incredible biz benefits and the lifestyle can be amazing and it's no joke. So what's your, what's your commitment? If you're not a 10, ask yourself, what would it take for me to be a 10? When you're at a 10, it's time to go. The second question to then ask yourself is what are my priorities? Write down the top three or top four priorities in your life. Sketch those out. And then I want you to do something. Go to your checkbook. Open your checkbook register or print out your statement for the last month. And based on what's listed in your checkbook, I want you to tell me what your top three priorities have been. And after you do that exercise, the next thing I want you to do is I want you to open up your calendar. Let's just say for the last month or the last couple weeks. The way you've spent your time, the things you've done, the people you've met with, what have you spent your time on? Based on your calendar and what you spent your time on, now tell me what your top three priorities are. When I work with my clients and do this exercise, rarely does their checkbook and their calendar match the initial priorities that they say. And I want you to be really clear and not fool yourself because a lot of times we'll say my priorities are this. Meanwhile, our time and action and money is spent on things over here that out of alignment can cause this tug of war and we get nowhere fast. And you're just frustrated because you're not getting results in your business. So get your priorities in alignment. And then the third thing, once you're committed, scale 10 out of 10, once you know your priorities and they're aligned, now ask what are the next three steps I can take right now? And who's my accountability partner to help me with that? You see, my friend, she knew the next three steps, but it was a little daunting for her. She wasn't quite sure. She was nervous. She had a lot of self-doubt going on. I grabbed her laptop, hit the button that needed to be hit, and off she goes. Now the momentum has been created, and now she's super excited. So that accountability partner, or wing woman as I call it, can really help you get over yourself when you just need to take that action. So what are the next three steps you can take and who's your accountability partner? And here's a little tip about accountability partners. Your accountability partner cannot be a person that is in the same spot on your journey that you're in. That's like the blind leading the blind because both of you then don't know what you don't know and you'll just keep going around in circles feeling like you're doing something but getting nowhere fast. Your accountability partner or wing woman must be somebody that's further on the journey than you are. Either a colleague that's already been there, done that, a coach that has experience in it, a mastermind where there's a collection of individuals that have that experience, but make sure you're not the blind leading the blind and that your accountability partner or wing woman really does have your back because they've been on the journey. So those are things that I want to share with you today and I have a message for you. The world needs your work. We are in a state of transformation. Hobby time is over. Post below, what's your commitment? What are your priorities? When you did those exercises, what was revealing to you? 
I'd love to hear that and support you on your journey to hit that button and get going.